Okay, let's talk about the slope of a line as it uh, relates to lines that are parallel to one another and lines that are perpendicular to one another. So this is an area that a lot of students, uh, when they're first introduced to it, get confused. So it can be definitely a little bit confusing. The focus of this video is to make sure you don't get confused and get these kind of problems correct. And there's other sub-skills you need to know uh, with these type of problems, in other words, um, how to calculate the slope given two points or how to graph a line, how to find the equation of a line, etc. But we're not going to really focus on uh, all of that. We're going to strictly focus on what's going on with the slope because that's typically the area where students get uh, confused about. But before we get going, let me introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and over the last several years, I've constructed many online math courses, mostly in the middle and high school uh, math range. Uh, so I'm going to leave a link to my full learning program in the description of this video. So this is like a tutorial video, but if you want my complete full instruction on all math topics, then you definitely want to check out my um, math learning program. Also, if you're new to my YouTube channel, hopefully you consider subscribing. I already have hundreds of uh, videos on my YouTube channel that can help you out in math, and I'm posting stuff uh, all the time. And if you find this uh, video helpful, please smash that like button. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get to uh, the topic. All right, so here parallel, right? Uh, these two lines are, you know, basically are parallel, right? They, you know, are not perfectly parallel because this is a sketch, but this is the idea of parallel, right? One line next to another line, and these two lines will never cross, right? They're never going to intercept because they're just side by side parallel, kind of like railroad tracks, if you will, right? They're never gonna cross. So when you see a line like this and another line next to it, those lines are parallel. Now, perpendicular has a very specific definition, and that is where a line is, they're obviously crossing, but they're crossing at right angles, okay? So 90 degrees, all right? So it's not just that they're just crossing like any old way, they're specifically cr uh, crossing at 90 degrees. So lines that are like this are perpendicular and lines that are like this are parallel. Okay, so let's get to a problem here. And we're just gonna focus on this one problem because again, there's a lot of sub skills that you need to be good at to handle uh, problems that involve the equation of uh, lines that are parallel to one another, perpendicular, etc. So let's just talk about a few of those. Again, check out my um, uh, more of my videos on my YouTube channel if you want to kind of learn about that. I guess the best or most organized way to learn that is to go, go into one of my math learning programs. But, you know, let me just focus here, right? So here we have an equation, okay? What type of equation is this? Well, it's this equation represents this line. We call this a linear equation, right? So this is a linear equation and it's a um, algebraic representation of, of this line. Okay, so this is a line, and this is this line's equation or a linear equation, okay? Now, um, hopefully you knew that. Now, uh, one of the most common ways to write the equation of a line is this way, y equals mx plus b. Okay, so you can see this y is by itself. Okay, so here there's y. Then we have an equal sign, just like that. And then we have an M and an X. So M and an X. So this M, okay, that's a particular value. In this case, in this uh, example, the M is three halves, three over two. And then I have an X plus a B, and that's just some other value. In this case, it's one. Okay, so here M is three halves and B is one, okay? But the main thing I want you to know is that this line, okay, this example right here, right, is in this format, y equals mx plus b, okay? So the convenient thing about this is that we can graph lines that are in this format. This is what we call the slope-intercept, y-intercept form, okay? Now, I don't want to take this video down the path of how to graph lines, okay? But I do need to kind of review some of this stuff with you just to make sure that, you know, you're, you're not going to be confused about anything, right? So that's, this is the kind of what I'm doing. I'm just kind of setting you up here, right? So now again, here is this line. Here's the equation of this line. The slope is three halves, okay? That is the slope, 
All right, now the slope is the rise over the run. Again, there's a lot to know about the slope, okay? But basically, the main concept about the slope that you need to know is that the slope is a, is a number, is a value that expresses the angle of this line, okay? So each line, depending on what its angle is, is going to have a different slope to it, okay? So that's kind of the big picture. So if we have a line that is parallel to this line, let me just kind of sketch one like so, all right? This line here, this has a slope of three halves, okay? Its, it's steepness or its angle is three halves. So lines that are parallel to one another have the same slope. That's just all you need to know. So this line down here has a slope of three halves as well. It's as simple as that. So uh, two lines that are parallel one to one another have the same slope. Now remember, this one, okay, had to do with this this um, plus b, this y-intercept, okay? So in other words, our first line right here, the one is a representation of where this line chops through the y-axis. So that would be like uh, one, okay? So this line with the slope of three halves crosses through or intercepts the y-axis at one, okay? So let's just kind of make up a... Um, another equation of this line down here okay now this is a little bit further down so what would, could possibly what would be a reasonable uh, guess at this line right here an equation of this line right so maybe like y equals what well it has to have the same slope because these are kind of these are parallel to one another so we're going to have to put three halves x but they're going to have a different y intercept so this might be intercepting at say negative two so I would put minus two, okay? So when you're looking at two lines, let me go ahead and just erase this. If I was to ask you, are the lines y equals three halves x plus one, and the lines y equals three halves x minus two, are these lines parallel to one another or perpendicular to one another or whatever? You would say, oh, they're both in y equals mx plus b form, okay? They have the same slope, okay? So they're definitely going to be parallel, okay? And here, they're not the same line because they have different y-intercepts, okay? All right, so that's um, a quick overview on uh, two lines that are parallel. Just remember, two lines that are parallel to one another are going to have the exact same slope. That's the main thing you need to be comparing them to, but you have to have the lines in the same format. Okay, it's not going to do any good to have a line like say 3x plus 4y equals 12 and y equals 2 thirds x minus 5, right? So to do this comparison to know whether these two lines uh, are parallel to one another, you're going to have to go ahead and rewrite this, this guy right here in terms of y, okay? Then that way you can kind of see it like so. Again, a lot of subskills. Uh, going on here, but the main idea is this. You're focusing on comparing the slope. You need to get the slope of the two lines and then you compare the two slopes. If they're the same, they are parallel. Okay, so that took care of that. Now we're going to move on to um, perpendicular lines. And this is where students get like confused, but don't worry, okay? Uh, we'll unconfuse you real uh, shortly here. All right, so again, slope of this line is 3 halves. So a line that would be perpendicular, again, I'm going to just kind of sketch it, use my sketching skills, maybe something like this, okay? So right here, that's 90 degrees, right? Now, of course, there's all kinds of lines. I can draw them right here. It doesn't make a difference anywhere along this line. I can have a perpendicular line. So... This line right here has some sort of y equals mx plus b situation going on with it, right? It has an equation that represents this line. So this line, our original line, has a slope of 3 halves, okay? What's the relationship uh, with the slope of a line and a line that is going to be perpendicular to it? Okay, so here's the drum roll, right? The drum roll is going to be the negative reciprocal, all right? So here's what that means, okay? You take your slope, 
All right, right here our slope is three halves, okay? We're gonna put a negative sign in front of it and we're gonna flip it over, okay? The reciprocal means you're gonna flip the fraction over, so that's two thirds. So this line down here has a slope of negative two thirds. So let's go ahead and write the MX plus uh, B. And this is the case with um, all lines that are uh, perpendicular to one another. They have, their slopes are the negative, negative reciprocal one another. Now, of course, it can get a little confusing. We'll do another quick example here. But let's say this line is crossing at negative three. So the equation of this line would be, what would be its slope? Okay, it's perpendicular to this line, so it would be negative two-thirds x, maybe like minus three, okay? So when you're comparing is this and this, okay, these two slopes, right? Now, if I give you negative two-thirds, right, as my original slope, I'm like, okay, what, what lines are perpendicular to lines that have a slope of negative two-thirds? Well, the, the way it works is negative reciprocal, but really think of it as the opposite sign, okay? So what's the opposite sign of uh, this negative? It's gonna be positive, and so we're just gonna do the negative of a negative, which is positive. It's just the opposite sign. So if I gave you the slope, negative two-thirds, the opposite of that's gonna be positive, and then you're gonna flip this guy. So that will be positive, right? So I'm gonna take the opposite sign, so that's positive, and this is two-thirds, so I'm gonna flip it upside down. That's three halves. Of course, we don't really uh, write uh, the positive signs. It's going to be three halves, okay? So there you go. All right, so that's basically it. That's the most confusing part generally with students. Now, again, if you don't understand slope-intercept form or if I gave you two points that are on a line, you know, for example, three, seven, and negative one, uh, two, and I told you to calculate the slope and then find the equation of a line, these are all sub-skills or, or separate skills from what we're talking about in this video, okay? I'm just focusing in on what's the mechanics of the slope and how they relate to one another with lines that are perpendicular or parallel. So um, these other skills, you know, if you're rusty on them or don't understand, you're going to have to work on, on those, right? Uh, but hopefully this clarified any confusion that you might have had on uh, the slope of a line uh, as it relates to parallel lines and lines are perpendicular. Very classic uh, type of algebra uh, problems. You know, this is stuff that you absolutely need to know, okay? So with that being said, um, definitely um, wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.